we must keep God's commandments. You understand that? Today is the seventh day, not Sunday. If you go to church tomorrow, that's wrong. Six days shall you labor, the seventh day is the Sabbath day of rest. You understand me? Read that again, Exodus 20. Because a lot of the older generation, y'all was raised to believe that under the Christianity religion that Sunday is the day of worship. But believe it or not, Sunday is the first day of the week. That's not the day God ordained. That's right. The day that God ordained is the seventh day. Right. Sunday being the first day, Friday being the sixth day, Saturday being the seventh day. That's right. That's the correct form to worship God and praise God. So if you go to uh, Dollar Tree and you're buying, you're breaking God's laws. Right. On the Lord's Sabbath day. You may not know, but now you know. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20. Lift up your voice. In verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Y'all got to remember the Sabbath day out here. Right. Remember the Sabbath day. Read to keep it holy. You see that, brother? You got to keep the Sabbath day holy. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Read. Six days shall thou labor. You got six days to work. That's 144 hours. You got more than enough time to get up, work, take care of anything you want to take care of. But the last 24 hours of the week is the Sabbath day to the Lord thy God. That's right. Read really? and do all thy work. And you got 144 hours throughout the week to do all your work. Six days to do all your work. Six 24-hour segments of every day to do all your work. But today is the Lord's Sabbath day. That's why y'all out here getting judged. Eight people shot. One day. People kidnapped. Always in the car accident, always tearing something up. You know why? Because your whole life is out of order. God tear you up. That's why. Right. That's why you get carjacked into life. That's why you work hard on your job and still get fired. You work hard to find a job, still can't get hired. That's why you go through what you go through. Because the whole world is out of order. Chicago is out of order. America is out of course. The black community is out of course. Y'all have lost your goddamn minds out here. Read what you got. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. You see that the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord. I know y'all know how to count. You count on the calendar yourself. What's the seventh day of the week? That's today, the seventh day of the Lord. Now, give me that one I had to ask for. About, give me that in Psalms 82. About the world being out of course. I know y'all think white supremacy is going to last forever. Y'all think America is going to last forever. I know y'all think that this capitalistic society is going to last forever. You believe that, young man? You believe that this place is going to be here forever? You know, according to the Bible, we the real Jews of the Bible. We the true biblical Jews of the Bible. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. Do y'all realize that? Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 1. Come on. God standing in the congregation of the mighty. You see that? God standing in the congregation of the mighty. The congregation of the mighty is not in the seven-day Adventist church, the Baptist church, the Catholic church, the Muslim mosque, the Nation of Islam church. The congregation of the mighty is amongst us, brother. Do you understand that you are part of the congregation of the mighty? Do you understand that we in the Israelites the Bible speaks of? I understand that you're miseducated. Come on, come over here. Come over here. You should have miseducated. How so? How so, young man? Come talk to me. Who thinks, Teach me why something. Why would I think that, um, first of all, why would I believe Why? You said why? Yeah. You know why? How did we get here to the shores of America? How so? A rocket ship? A Cadillac? A cruise ship? How did we get here to the shores of America? South Carolina, Kingston, Jamaica, New Orleans, Louisiana, New York. Which How did the blacks... In America, dot on all the shores on the eastern coast, the southern coast, the Caribbean coast, the South American coast, how did our people dot here on the shores of North, Central, and South America? How so? And throughout Europe, how so? Ways. What's the chief way? You said numerous ways. What's the number one way? Bro. And bro, I'm gonna let you know right now, we, we very serious. Slavery. So let's get to the point. The slavery. No, how yeah, do we get here? here too. No, no, not, don't sidestep the main issue. Slavery. How do we okay, get here? Slavery then. If you want to That's not saying nothing. Slavery, let's go with slavery. What's the form of transportation? Ships. Slave ships, right? Correct. Correct? 
That's how we got here to the shores of America? That's how many of us got That's here. That's how the bulk of us got here to the shores of America, Correct. right? Correct? Give me that in Deuteronomy 28. Because the young man said, why should we believe the Bible, right? No, 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 ain't no, wait, wait, ain't no nothing, wait, nothing. The young man said, how do we believe in the Bible? He just said that we got here to the shores of Central, uh, South, and North America through slave ships. Now, let's see what the Bible says. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy! This is Deuteronomy, the fifth book of the Bible. The first book, come on. Chapter 28! You got spirits on you. Verse 68! Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. God said, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, young man. Young Bro, man, God said, why are you God sorry? shall bring thee into right. Egypt again. Just because you talk about Egypt is slavery. Your right. Huh? Just because you speak what? about it, so right. With what? How do we get into the shores of Egypt? Read. What? Ship. Now you may laugh, you say America's not Egypt. But you ever been to Tennessee? You ever heard of a city called Memphis? You ever been to New York? You ever seen the old police in New York? You ever seen the old police in Washington, D.C.? You, you ever looked at the back, a back of a dollar bill and seen a pyramid? You ever been to Southern Illinois? You ever seen Cairo, Illinois? You know Cairo is named after a city in Egypt? Right. Memphis is named after a city in Egypt? You know that we served the same slavery here in America, in Memphis, and in Cairo, Illinois, the same way we served Egypt in, in uh, ancient slavery, in See? ancient Egypt. The person who speaks the louder does not necessarily so mean that they're correct. The it's not Simple as that. The the he man. won't even the take a question from someone who's That's educated. Like Bible said, he will again. only so speak no and pontificate. Right. If you right. actually want to learn, right. you will right. actually do research instead of pontificating. Listen to what he's doing. Instead of pontificating, you should actually try to educate. Now he's going to scream that Bible it's verse again, Lord, so like that matters. In actuality, you should do research God outside of the Bible again to understand the context of these Historically, stories. Historically, that's transatlantic slave ships. Because when you hey, research and just Read believe things that's within the book, and, uh, and, and if that's the only the thing that you believe, on, first on. and foremost, you're doing circular reasoning. The Bible is your no truth because the Bible says so. That, that is crazy. No Analogical Read. fallacy. He shall be sold! Oh, yes, we not sold on the shores of uh, uh, Charleston, South Carolina, Baltimore, Maryland, Kingston, Jamaica, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Port-au-Prince, Spain, Are you here to teach? San Juan, or are you here to just uh, Puerto Rico. You just here to I'm here to educate miseducated educate, young men like you're gonna, yourself. If you're gonna educate, you have brains in your bed, but you're still a young man. You don't know if nothing. Educate, Read what you got. See, you don't know something as shit. simple as your history just that the Bible shit. documents that we would come here on the slaves on the on the shores of America through slave ships. He talking with so if you don't know that, I can't dialogue with you. Read what you got. In fact, this shall be sold unto your enemies. You was we not sold to our enemies? Was we not sold to our enemies? Come on, read what you got. For bad men and bad women. Come on, read what you got for me. And no man shall buy you. You see that? No man shall buy you. No man shall redeem you. Come on. No, he's read that again for me. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy. Come on. 48, verse 48. Come on, read that again. Did we not serve our enemies? Did we not serve our enemies? Where the camera at? Do we not serve our enemies? Read that again. I asked you. The Bible is not enemies. We serve our enemies, know right? This stuff here. Do we not serve Christ our enemies? Does not Read that again. Our history. The book shall not serve our enemies. Come on. No, I know. What's the Lord shall send against us? The, the, the Lord sent our enemies against us, sister. The Lord sent the Dutch, the French, the Portuguese, the English, the Spaniards. The Lord sent them against us. Read. And hunger, and hunger. Don't we had to serve our enemies for hunger. If you want food, you have to serve your enemies for hunger. That's documented history. Read. And it thirst. And it thirst. So you want he something said, to drink? You got to go to your enemies, enemies for water. Like you we don't, don't know how to grow our own food. You don't food. own Deer Park. You don't own none of these things. I you don't own CVS if you want to get some water, a case of water. You don't own Dollar Tree. Do you don't own Falcon Fuel. Guess what? You got to go it to your enemies. Rains. Just like the Bible says. No, you don't. Just like the book it says. Rains. Read what you got. You can and create exactly. your own filters. And guess what? If it rains, rain you got to water. water. You can make you your pay own filters. You don't got to buy no fucking water. And you can grow your own food and from your own seeds. seeds. Is this your dog? You don't need to buy food. That's your father? That's your friend? Guess what? 
If your daughter, He's son, lying. friend, anybody want to get married, and the one of all he things, you got to go to Cook County to get married. No, you don't. You got to go to the court, the circuit court of Cook County in Markham the, to get married. The to Constitution your own states right. that you want some toilet yeah, paper. You, you have your go own to your enemy. religious Read beliefs. You, you can be married and according to your religion. And no need for a Cook County what? shit at all. So keep lying. What's this? I bet surprise. you guys edit this shit right out. This shit gonna get edited out. So who right? Who right? Is he? Is, is the Bible right or is he right? I'm right. Read that again. Turn the speaker this way. Read that again for him. He like, no, he and he's like, he because he's shall, screaming. And he shall, he's read right. that part again. And he, and shall, he shall what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What's this right here? Is this a yoke of iron on our neck documented history? Guess where that's found at? In the Holy Bible. So what, what you got to say now? That's not in the Quran. That's not in the Egyptian book of the day. That's found in the Holy Bible. Now look, 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 you see he's suddenly now he ain't got nothing to say now, you see that? Hey stop, don't play with us up here. Don't play with us up here, read what you got. Let me get the headphones Read what you got. He have the strength to read what you got. Come on, the book of Eclipse. That's why I call you a young man, because you don't know nothing. Read what you got from me. It's alright. He don't bite. He's not going to bite you. Come on. They have not known me. Uh-huh. They are Scottish. Children. God said his people are foolish. They have not known me. You are a foolish young man. You don't know God. Read. And they have not understand. They got no understanding. He don't even know that according to the Bible, we're the Israelites that was brought here on slave ships. That's who we are. Read. And they have not understand. Our people have no understanding. It don't matter how old you are, you're not more ancient than the book itself, than the Holy Bible. Read it out. If you're not coming with historical facts, don't come up here running your mouth. Read what you got. They are wise to do evil. Our people are wise to do evil. If y'all wise to form these gangs to do evil, to move criminal activities throughout your own neighborhood, you're wise to do evil to do that. You're wise to set up churches and lie against the Bible and say, bring me your tithes and collect money. You're wise to do that, even though the Bible don't say to do that. We are here week after week. We don't collect no money. I work. I work a job. I got a whole career. Most of us do. I don't need your money. Read. But to do we evil. come out here to teach for the love of our people. That's it. That's Read. Right. They have no knowledge. Uh-huh. But to do what? But to do good. But when it comes to doing good, read. They have no knowledge. Our people don't got knowledge now. You understand me, brothers? When it when it comes to doing good, we don't have no knowledge now. But when it comes to do evil, we can think of a hundred ways to do evil. Uh -huh. Right? But we can't think of one way to do good, and that's follow God. We can't even do that. That's why we get judged out here. That's why. That's why God's hand is heavy on his people. Right? Teach. Because think about, it, think about it like this. Everybody does the same thing. All nations on the earth sin, right? But why does you and your race get judged the hardest? He used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.